just wanted to do a, a brief video. Um, it's Saturday afternoon, and unfortunately, I'm I'm in the office prepping some cases uh, for the upcoming week. With regards to uh, this video, I just wanted to explain the difference between uh, some murder charges uh, in Pennsylvania. I know, obviously, the uh, killing death of George Floyd in Minneapolis, Minnesota, that awful incident, everyone's obviously talking about it. It's a tragic incident. I, I didn't want to talk too much about that because obviously you can read about that online and, and how, how awful the video is and watch it, unfortunately. But I just wanted to explain the difference between third degree murder and first degree murder because Pennsylvania, uh, like Minnesota, is one of the few states that actually have that charge. So first degree murder is an intentional killing that is done with premeditation and deliberation. Third degree murder is an intentional killing that also has that malice element, but does not have the premeditation element uh, in it. So you, you could say that um, third degree murder in Pennsylvania is all the murder that would not be first degree murder. Now, Pennsylvania does have second degree murder, but that's felony murder. And what that basically is, is, is that, and I've done an article on that, which I'll link in here, that is where a killing death occurs during the commission of a, a felony. So whether it be a burglary, a robbery, or an arson, if for instance, that individual robs a bank and, 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 and doing the, that bank robbery, someone is killed, that person will be charged with felony murder. Same with an arson. If you're you know, burning a house down and, and you, you didn't know someone was in there and a person dies, um, that's obviously a felony murder as well. So um, it, it, it lacks that intentionality element. So second degree murder um, will subject you to a life sentence in Pennsylvania. First degree murder, uh, will subject you to a life sentence in Pennsylvania without the possibility of parole. Third degree murder subjects a person to a 40 year sentence. It's a felony of the first degree. In Minnesota, it's my understanding that the max punishment for third degree murder is 25 years. Now, in addition, it's my understanding that that police officer, that former police officer is also charged with manslaughter and they define it as manslaughter of the second degree. Um, again, I'm not a, a licensed attorney in Minnesota, but I believe that those two charges uh, would merge for the purposes of sentencing and or obviously if the, if the case resulted in a plea. Obviously the video is, is awful and I'm not gonna get too much into that, but I, I just wanted to explain really, you know, uh, those two charges, I think, I think it's important to understand that, um, and that's the whole point of these videos. Really, when something happens uh, on the news or um, in the media or something like that, I, I, I just want to provide people with information. I think that's uh, just a service that I can offer to just everyone, um, whether or not you're my client or not. Um, with regards to uh, these charges, I don't know where this case is going to go. Obviously, it seems like it's, it's going to result in probably a plea, but you, know, you never know, uh, depending on what uh, is negotiated between um, this now accused person and the district attorney's office. I would imagine that, I mean, obviously, um, they're not going to uh, offer any type of um, attractive uh, plea offer in the case and uh, again we don't know what's going to happen so we're just going to wait and see with regards to the actual you know, disposition of that case. If you have questions about a criminal charge, um, if you've been charged with a crime in Pennsylvania or New Jersey, I can't stress enough the importance of reaching out to a criminal defense lawyer. Our 
our law firm answers calls 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We have a variety of resources that are available online on our website. We have our free downloadable books. You can also text us questions through the website. Uh, we now have our New Jersey office, which we opened up this week. We're very excited about it. That phone number is 856-793-7429. Again, 856-793-7429. That, like our Pennsylvania number, 215-755-9000, is a 24-hour number. We're here for our clients 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We offer that. I think it's very important. You're never gonna call our office and get a voicemail. You are always gonna to speak to a live person. It's necessary. I believe that any criminal defense firm does not have a 24 hour service available is simply the wrong lawyer for you. I, 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 I really can't understand why a criminal lawyer or a person who claims uh, that he or she is a criminal lawyer wouldn't, wouldn't have a 24 hour service. I, a crime or, or an allegation can occur at any time, whether it be a Saturday at two o'clock in the afternoon or, or a Sunday at three o'clock in the morning. It, 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 it really has no schedule, much like this uh, unfortunate uh, COVID virus. So with that, I want to wish you all a happy Saturday. I know that um, right now the COVID restrictions are being eased every day. There are a number of counties that are actually in the green zone in Pennsylvania. New Jersey is getting there, which is, which is where my family lives. Uh, so things are happening. I know that Governor Murphy has allowed non-contact outdoor sports and people are still trying to figure out if that means that soccer camp and, and, and certain football camps and other things can happen if there's no contact. Um, I think that's all going to be kind of hashed out. Hopefully, ice hockey and gymnastics will come back soon for my own children, and um, we're on the right track. With regards to courts, our law firm hasn't really stopped uh, since the shutdown. Uh, we've been very extremely busy, busy representing clients in Pennsylvania and New Jersey at a variety of hearings, uh, pretrial motions, um, preliminary hearings. I, I did my first remote preliminary hearing actually in uh, Cheshire County uh, last week. I've done uh, various hearings in New Jersey. Philadelphia isn't there yet. Uh, this week we're going to have, I believe, our remote uh, hearings or at least status conferences. Uh, we're not going to have anything live in Philadelphia. It seems like Philadelphia court systems have are just not um, right now on the same uh, program as as the other courts. So hopefully Philadelphia will get there. Uh, I want to wish you all well. Again, if you have questions, please give us a call 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania or 856-793-7429 in New Jersey. Have a great day.